Hey you guys, what's up? Caleb Rao here. Uh, today I just wanted to make a short little video uh, showing off some new fishing equipment that I got the other day. Uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a little while now, but uh, I got a new reel and I also got a new rod as well um, for bread fishing. Uh, I've got plenty of bass equipment, but uh, the other day when I went fishing, uh, I had my little Zepco combo, little underspin combo that I got for 20 bucks. And uh, honestly, I threw it away. It was junk. It kept on catching up. You know, the gears kept grinding. It wasn't reeling in. So I just, I took that thing, line and all, and I trashed it. Still got the rod, but it wasn't nothing special anyway. So decided to give me some whole new equipment the other day. And um, what today we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about my new rod. Um, but the most important thing is we're going to be talking about this new reel right here. A uh, Shimano Syncopate 1000 FG. I've never heard of it before, but I was at the local tackle shop the other day, and uh, it was on sale for $29.99. Uh, I think it retails for $39.99. I'm not sure. Um, I'll see if I can find a link and put it in the description below. Um, but a lot of y'all know when I go brand fishing, I don't use the traditional push buttons anymore. I either use an underspin reel, like the Zepco I just talked about, or I'll use a spinning reel that has a trigger on it. And that's exactly what this is right here. It's a small to medium sized uh, trigger spinning reel. And uh, the reason I like it is because whenever I'm using the slip bobber system, I can just kind of pendulum uh, swing that bobber right there under trees and brush and stuff like that and get some really good bites without getting a bunch of hang ups and stuff like that. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open this up, give you all some specs. Uh, and then tell you my plans for it and also show off the rod as well. Alright, so this is the uh, the reel itself. We're going to go ahead and open it up and uh, I'll try to get y'all some close-up video of it as well. But this is the Syncopate 1000, I'm, I'm guessing I'm pronouncing it right, Syncopate 1000 FG. And uh, it's got a nice little metal finish, you know, pretty standard looking stuff. It's not, you know, it's 30 bucks, so it's not going to be, you know, your typical super super high quality reel. I don't really have any of that super super high quality stuff, um, but it does feel good in the hand. It has it has good weight to it. Uh, feels real solid. Uh, got a pretty smooth system, and then of course just like all the trigger reels, it's gonna stop right there, so you can click it and get back to fishing. Um, I really do like these better than just your traditional spinning reels. A lot of people don't mind grabbing the line, but I just think this is the easiest way to do it and it just really helps me get back to fishing quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna set this thing to the side and then I'm gonna just read off the specs real quick and we can kind of get a rundown of what all it's got on it. All right, 5.2 to one gear ratio, it's about average. Four stainless steel ball bearings. Quick fire two self-centering bail, that's the trigger. Um, Dyna Balance anti-wobble system, don't know what that is. Very speed oscillating system, oversized power roller line roller, fluid drive two gearing system, and propulsion line management system. So it's got some pretty cool stuff, some pretty cool features to it. Um, if you know what all that means, I just picked it up at the store and felt it and thought it was pretty smooth. Um, but my plans for it is to put about 100 yards of this uh, four pound ultra high visibility, vicious fishing. You can get this stuff at Walmart usually for a dollar or two. I've been using this stuff for a long time. I like using it with my brim equipment. Um, seems to work pretty well. A lot of people are like, why do you use that green line? Can't the fish see it? I ain't noticed the difference. And I just, I like it because it's cheap. And four pound tests uh, should be plenty enough for the kind of fishing I'm doing. If a bass hooks onto it, I'll adjust the drag accordingly and then I might be able to pull one in. Um, but I like to keep that line real thin, real light for easy casting um, and just pull and brim up. And the rod, this is a new rod I got recently. I got this up at Walmart as well for about 20 bucks, I'd say. And uh, this is to replace one that broke. This is a Shakespeare micro series. It's only about, let's see if you can see it, about five foot tall, maybe five and a half, let's see. There's any identifying markers on here. Five and a half, uh, very light action, 
Uh, you're supposed to use four to eight pound test line on it. And this is a spinning reel. And it just, it looks good, it looks nice, but it's got a really, really nice, fast action. So it's gonna make all the, uh, all the little fish feel fun and uh, you're gonna feel real nice. And then the big fish are just gonna feel like whales on the end of your line. So I like these real light action lines because they just make it more fun. And I like it being short like this because it just lets me cast into real small places and everything like that. And um, that's about it, you guys. I uh, appreciate y'all watching the video. I'm gonna try to make another one in the near future. Uh, I'm gonna review my GoPro, maybe make another tackle video on how to fish certain type of lures, um, how to maybe do a Texas rig or how to do a Carolina rig, uh, something of that nature if I get the chance to. And um, hopefully I'll get to go fishing this afternoon and test this out and then uh, I'll tell y'all what I think about it in a couple of weeks. It's been Caleb Rao. Thanks for watching.